feel like most people will say like their real their families like into music, but like it's just me, like it's really just me and my brother. We started doing music together, but it's not we're not really family like music oriented. Well, while I was making music, I always wanted to be the person who like did everything myself. Like even before music, it was like visuals. How I really knew is like when me and my brother like started to make a project and it actually did good. It was called Evolve. It was Love Backwards, which is crazy because I got a Grammy for love. Like just growing up in Memphis and Missouri, it definitely craft like who I am as a person and what type of music I produce. Like that's why I could go from an underground artist to a street artist to a mainstream artist. Like it really doesn't matter what genre it is. It's like as long as it feel good and sound good, it's like it's me. Yeah. My setup is this really. <laughs> like I really um I'm not with the big studios and stuff, so I I like. I like having people come to the crib and just cook up and like, I like it being open, like very, very open. I don't feel like that. I don't like feeling like that I'm at work. So my setting is just like a laptop, some weed, simple music, like movies, like it's real simple. I say like definitely while I'm making the beat, I'm thinking of some words. Like that's, that's just me really. I can't even finish the beat if I don't really know that at least the hook is going to be tight or something like that. It just got to be hard. I can't lie. Yeah, it, it gotta be fire. It got, I gotta know that's like, this beat, like, I can spend 10 hours on this beat and it can be a weak song. So like, I, I can, I'm, I'm not the guy to do that for real. Like, if I export the beat, it's somebody's using it, like, for real, automatic. There's two people that really influenced me, literally, like, after, I, after, like, after working with them, it was like, I definitely became who I am. And that was, I would say, my brother and Kendrick. When I, when I was first working with my brother, it was like, he was like, man, do something you like. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, literally it worked out. And it's crazy because like, that's what everybody's doing right now. And like, I fast forward to when I, when I met Kendrick, he was like, he, was, he like basically told me the same thing. He was like, yo, play something you're working on. It, it, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like it when an artist just like respect my craft and just be like, yo, whatever you're working on, I'm with it. Most important thing to me really is the fun. Like, I, I say the respect thing comes to when we're really, like, when we know that what we're doing, we're about to make music. But really, if it's not fun, I'm not even, I can't do it. <laughs> so it's like, it's just about, like, really knowing each other and just vibing out, having fun with it. I, I, I kind of, like, premeditate when I make music. It's like, I'll be, I'll sit here and, like, make 10 beats without even actually touching the computer before I actually, like, touch it. So, so it, it can be, like, very slow sometimes or it can be really fast, like. Music is like so, it's so open to me because like I've been, I've been doing the same schedule for like two years, two, three years and like all this stuff is happening and like, I'm just like in my head like yo, I just, it's so simple to me, I just gotta keep just doing what I love to do. And that's just film and music. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is G-Eazy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.